Uh, earlier I spoke about how I use technology in, in my day to day. The absence of technology, at, at least from my perspective when I went through, was a great thing. I valued and still value having a childhood, having a time to play, a time to experience nature, a time to become friendly with nature. There are so many people I know who are, are truly uncomfortable being outdoors, who are truly uncomfortable spending the night under the stars, who are unacquainted with the world because they are focused in on an artificial version of it. I can't judge this. I, I, I'm the designer of it now. Every day I work in it. <laughs> but I know that they are missing a very special part of the world. And in my Waldorf education, I felt like I got exposed to that every day, whether it was going out to the farm to milk a goat or out to the woods to, I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys ever played Ambush, but it was an awesome game <laughs> where we got to run around in the woods and be free and it was sort of like a, you capture the flag, but it was in the woods and you could get lost and you could find yourself and come back. And those are experiences that are crucial to my health every day. Uh, technology, what I do with it, even though that's how I, I make my living, is just what I do. Who I am is much, con much more connected to the rest of the world, uh, to my community, to the people I grew up with, to my family, to my friends. And those are the things that are important that, that I can't learn and don't change. Technology changes every day. Uh, and being stuck in one part of it, being stuck in a certain coding language or programming for a certain kind of device, those things will go away, and they go away very quickly. The things that matter, the things that sustain me and maintain my enthusiasm and curiosity are the things I learned in Waldorf about uh, the fearlessness, the joy of interacting and maintaining relationships of art, of being creative, uh, and play. And, and those are things that sustain me every day. And those are much more important than an education in technology. You can learn technology. Clearly, I did after I graduated, and, and now I design for it. So I, I think it's a great education to not focus on that. You know, I think it was a lot different than in the late 80s when uh, not everybody had a computer at home. And I think that, that from what I can tell, the school has, has changed and has grown with this really dramatic transform transformation and how, how integrated uh, computers and technology and everything is in the world these days. And I think they've, we're, we're definitely right to be a little cautious about it in that I think that we were sort of always... We always uh, were aware that, that you know computers and science and these things are tools, um, but they they ha can become you know they're sometimes they're really shiny, cool, fun tools that can become all consuming. And I think that I do see today, um, you know, is running a business and and hiring people who are just now coming out of college, uh, you know, on a fairly regular basis. Uh, there are people who you can tell they've spent way too much time in front of a computer and not enough time sort of out in the world or or thinking outside of out of sort of their digital realm and and you know we all all of my friends and and colleagues were all on Facebook and we're as, as technically proficient as anybody else is if not more in some cases um, but I think we we always saw the technology that we were and we were we were allowed to you know we were uh, provided opportunities to to explore really interesting technologies um, but it was it was never something that was sort of just taken for granted uh, so we, we, I think we just sort of learned to respect it and, and to realize that it's, it's something that um, is there and a very powerful tool and something that we can use to do creative, amazing things. But, you know, it was, it's almost like the analogy might be that, you, you know, before you learn to run, you have to walk. So before you, you know, design digital 3D things in a computer, you should learn to draw. And I think that was essentially sort of the philosophy. And I didn't really find any flaws with that. It sort of all worked itself out. Um, I think that without the ability to 
use your senses in the environment um, that, and, and the, the approach that Waldorf takes to encourage young people to do that is critical. Uh, I don't think that a, a, an absence of technology uh, in, in a young person's education is a terrible thing. I don't think that the presence is a terrible thing. But using your wits and learning basic science, math, uh, in addition to the rest, is, is very, very important. And I also feel that we, at least I received, an, a fabulous grounding. I don't know any other scientist in, in my circle of, of professional colleagues and friends who had botany in fifth grade. Not a single one. <laughs> 